democracy, children, is a lot like an ice cream cone. Sometimes the best person doesn't win. Sometimes there is no good choice. Sometimes base emotions overwhelm reason altogether. It can destroy friendships, it can destroy lives. But in the end, it's the best system anyone's thought of. Wait, how is that like ice cream? It isn't. But if I'd told you what I was really going to talk about, you'd be off watching television by now. Everybody's talking about the election lately. Yeah. At this point, it's hard to imagine anyone saying anything I haven't heard before. Guys, help me out. Do boogers taste better than earwax? Have you heard that before? Maybe from Ralph Nader. You want to know what? My dopey brother here says earwax tastes better than boogers. And you seem vehemently to disagree. Well, he's clearly wrong. When people are wrong, you have an obligation to persuade them. Even when it means admitting to your friends that you have an informed opinion on this topic. Exactly. Tim just doesn't understand the sacrifices I make on his behalf. Bigger, 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 bigger. Let's look at this logically. Do we have two? They say most of taste is actually smell. Now, boogers are formed in the nose, so you basically taste them all the time anyway. Booger, booger, booger. So between that and earwax, there's really no contest. Someday you're going to be very successful at something very stupid. Booger. Boogers or earwax? The world may never know. Uh-huh. So should we be using that as a metaphor for the election that just happened? Nah, I'd really rather just let the subject drop. What? Disgusting bodily substances, or politicians? Whichever. I'm calm. I mean candidate Llewellyn. You didn't win the election. What will you do now? Well, Asolda, I look forward to playing the role of loyal opposition. Democracy depends on someone questioning the accepted versions of things. From Greater Llewellyn, I'm Asolda. No you're not. As a sovereign nation within the borders of the U.S., Greater Luland is in a unique position when it comes to loyal opposition. When the U.S., or some part of it, behave in a manner belying its stated dedication to freedom and tolerance, we can, by doing exactly the opposite, hold them accountable. So we will now vote on the Free 7 Up for Gay People Amendment to our Constitution. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You must sometimes wonder about your biological parents. Of course. But for all I know, not knowing might be a good thing. You never know who it could turn out to be. You're telling me. My father turned out to be a reverse aging pirate. Well, exactly. And I already have one weird dad. I suppose I'm old enough to pursue some answers about my biological origins. I mean, the significance of genetics is undeniable. And I'm always eager to learn something new about myself. You are? That's not what you said last weekend. All I said was I didn't want to let you remove my gallbladder. You have to admit, we both would have learned a lot. Dad, I want to ask you something. Ah, uh, I've been waiting for this moment. My advice is mind control is largely a question of persuasion. Oh, there are those who swear by drugs or hypnosis. But in the end, the best method is to substitute your will for the subject's own judgment which... I want to know about my biological parents. Oh, that's much simpler. Subject's own judgment. 